the city of Clinton, Mississippi. Uh, this, uh, this falls under me. Um, to explain the process that we've been through, uh, we have, uh, of course, the older woman at large and I interviewed the candidates who applied, and then uh, we broke those. We, we, we narrowed the list down to three people, and we broke those groups in between, those people in between three groups and rotated them. We had three aldermen and uh, in one group, three aldermen in another group, and then we had a third group made up of the police chief, uh, a couple of lawyers. We had some lawyers in the two aldermen groups to kind of round the numbers out and make it a, uh, as close as we could to an equal number. And all of them went through. Um, having gone through and now talked with them, I'm going to recommend to the board that we uh, hire William Pardee as our new city attorney and would ask for a motion to do so. Make the motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion or a second. Is there any discussion? Mayor, I'd like to place another motion on the table for consideration to postpone this item uh, indefinitely in order to have further discussion on it. Um, there's been some concern from the very beginning about the process and uh, the length of the process and uh, this is no reflection whatsoever on the candidates that were brought forward but a concern by the board about the process itself and the length of time and so forth and um, we, we believe that it's, it's in the best interest to delay this until we've had an opportunity for some further discussion. First, your motion is out of order. You can't make a motion on top of a motion. You can make a motion to take it. Well, that's essentially what a motion so, so, to postpone so indefinitely is. So, so, and so, it so does. you're making a motion to take it. Is that correct? Well, indefinitely. Is that, is that what you're saying? That's according to Robert's rules of order. Okay. That we have, in that case, then we'll move into the motion to table if there's a second. And if there's a second, then we'll go into discussion over that. Do we have a second on that motion to table? Second. We have a motion and a second on the motion to table. Now we'll open the floor for discussion. Uh, just to make the point, uh, Mr., uh, Mr. Wall, our city clerk, did the city abide by all of the rules, regulations as laid out for the advertising of this uh, position? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, with that in mind, then, are there any other questions or comments? Or the, the, the advertisement was just on the city's website on our general job application. Is that the only place it was advertised? As far as I know, yes. It was posted on the website. It was put in the paper. Oh, yeah. That's it right. was put on our web page, and it was placed, uh, uh, posted on our board as required also. Yeah. Uh, which is the place where we've placed all of our advertisements in the past. Two years ago, when we were hiring, we were looking to hiring a council, we advertised it with the uh, Mississippi Bar, and they sent the uh, announcement out to all of the members of, of, of the bar, and we had a much larger uh, pool of, of applicants uh, doing it that way. Uh, but again, I think what uh, old woman Garrett was saying that uh, again, uh, whether we limited it, uh, the applicants uh, by just having on the city website and not advertising it uh, further was the way I understood her, her, her motion and her comment. Any other questions I, or comments? I have a question. If, if, if this motion passes and this is tabled and the city is faced with a pressing legal issue, it's my understanding that the billing, the going rate for outside attorney billing is somewhere around $200 an hour. Uh, where are we going to come up with that money? I mean, we do have a fiduciary responsibility to the city to make sure that we, we're paying for, we're, we're, we're able to pay for services rendered. And it seems to me that two things. Number one, we, in the meeting that Alderwoman Garrett was referencing, there was consensus among the board members that were present that both of the candidates, all the candidates actually that we interviewed, were, were quality candidates that met the requirements of the position. Uh, I will, for the record, state that I was willing to support 
a motion as like this if and only if the candidates that we interviewed were not capable of doing the job. If we had inferior candidates that we couldn't we, we, we couldn't put the trust and confidence of the city of Clinton in, then I would be the first one to support this motion. That wasn't the case. The candidates that we interviewed were, were quality, quality candidates. Uh, they're intelligent. They want these, this job, and I feel confident that uh, uh, the mayor's recommendation of Mr. Purdy uh, is, is an appropriate recommendation. Uh, he did extensive research coming into this position, coming into the interview. Uh, it's his dream job. I, I see no reason to drag our feet on this decision and run the risk of putting the city in further financial jeopardy over something that we do have immediate control over. So I'm going to urge the board to vote against this motion to table. Uh, Any other comments, questions? In answer to your question relating to the funding for any legal fees that might um, come forward during this time, uh, we do have the salary of the previous uh, board attorney uh, in order to meet that financial responsibility. And I think another concern today was we had no idea who this person was until about five minutes ago, until the mayor just publicly announced who this was. And... Uh, normally, we would have the name of any person being brought forward to the board uh, so that the board would have an opportunity to know who that person was and to, uh, to give that vote further consideration. So I think that was another concern that we had no idea until just then who that individual was. Uh, we're all aldermen able to to uh, take part in the interview process? Yes. You were with me. You had yes. an opportunity to talk and to ask questions. Yes. The, uh, this was one odd uh, time that the, that the three committees or the three groups we had came back split. One said one, one said the other, and one said both. So there was a lot of thought given. As a matter of fact, um, I was still talking to both of them as of yesterday. And, and still going through the ideas and the thought process to get me to uh, today, uh, where we then came up with the uh, with this appointment. So to say that you haven't had an opportunity to talk with them, or that you would have taken time to talk with them today, I think is disingenuous and certainly an, an unfair statement. Uh, everyone had the same opportunity, um, so I would disagree with, with your entire premise there. Anyone else? I think we did due diligence. I mean, we, we followed the law as far as we had to when we advertised it. We, as Alderman Cashin said, we interviewed some really great people. Uh, there, there, uh, there was a definite chance going into it. We might not like any of them, but that wasn't the that wasn't the case. We did because they were great applicants. So I think we I think we did do due. due Diligence. I think we we uh, interviewed vigorously uh, on these people, and like the mayor said, that there, there was a uh, there was basically a tie, even though I thought there was pretty well a consensus. But uh, you know, so I think we I think we're doing fine with this. I think we made a good decision. And this is remember, this is just a motion to postpone or. Table. This is not a no vote on this individual. This is just a postponement to give the board further time to consider. To, to, to consider, I guess, I'm, to consider what? Are we going to go back through reposting and the, the time requirements for reposting, the time requirements for re-interviewing? I mean, this could, this could drag on for... What's the legal requirement? Fifteen days for for posting a job. Well, you you, you uh, cannot repost a job until you have uh, voted to deny deny right. So, uh, so, uh, so, so the first.
first thing you have to, so if you, if you vote to table this, well, I really don't know what's left. You're just going to table it indefinitely. Well, I do know what the next motion I'm going to ask you for, so I've already prepared for that. But uh, you're, you're indefinitely, I don't know, sitting around thinking about it. So, At so, some point, you're going to have to vote to deny this and then repo, and, and repost the position. That, and then that's where I was going with this, is that, 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 that contrary to what your intent is, the reality of it is that you do have to deny the candidate that the mayor's put forth in order to repost. Otherwise, if we're not going to repost, I'm not sure what we're accomplishing by doing this. So there's there, the devil's in the detail with this. It's not as simple as simply tabling it and then huddling back up and trying to figure something else. You actually do have to formally deny the mayor's recommendation in order to repost. And then go through the whole process, through the whole process again. again. I might also point out that on a daily basis we have legal issues coming into the city. <coughs> that uh, need to be addressed. And so the longer we postpone this, the, uh, the worst, really the worst shape that we're in, uh, when we changed the last time, three years ago, the attorney then, Ken Dreer, stayed on with us until we had someone in position to, to take over. This is not an option that we have this time. The person who was in the position has left and moved on uh, and is you know, not in, an, in, in any way representing the city. So these continue to pile up and uh, and just sit there, and all I can do is read them and, and uh, really don't, we don't have anyone with the legal expertise to sit there and to address them. So to delay this is simply adding to the height of the pile of things to get done. And, and if I might, if I, just as a clarification, Paul and Garrett said that we pay for this or could pay for this out of salary that wasn't, hasn't been incurred, we've already pledged that money as per our board meeting for another for another purpose. Very good point. That's so that money really, huh? that's coming up. That's how the meeting coming up. That's the next <laughs> item. So, so the salary of the city attorney that would have been incurred is been pledged as per our work session the other day. It was pledged for two weeks. A right. two-week amount was pledged, not the entire Right, salary. so then the question then becomes the $200 an hour, how many hours would it take over the course of the next two weeks to eat up that salary difference? And it's not many. I just think it's a, uh, I think it's a, well, I think right. it's a decision that, put, that could put the city in uh, uh, both at legal risk because we do have legal issues in front of us and a potential financial shortfall. We just find out we're Twenty-seven thousand dollars off on our insurance budget. I, I don't think now is the time that we need to be rolling the dice on financial issues, or and or legal issues. Well, I, I have no, I have no problem with the candidate announced, but what I'm having a problem with is sitting here listening to the division already, and this is one of the most crucial positions that we will hire. And if there's a, we already know I, that uh, maybe I missed that that we were divided on the vote. In the beginning, probably hindsight, we should have come back together in another work session, because we can call those, and had discussion, because it sounds like there's still a, a great deal of division. Maybe you're not opposed to the candidate, but you don't like the, I mean, I'm not sure about that, but well, we I, I know that we got, a problem. we got a problem here. We, we had a work session Friday afternoon, so I'm, again, uh, you can meet as often as you want, but there comes a point where... You're going to have to make a decision tonight, A or B. I guess there's a C, which uh, C, the C decision allows the legal uh, paperwork that continues to come in to, to continue to, to stack up. Any other comments? It will, do we, we have a motion and a second to table. Is that correct? Uh, yes. That's correct. Okay, if y'all would go, go ahead and vote, please. Yeah. If you vote aye, that means you're voting to table. If you vote nay, you're voting not to table. Do we need to do this by vote, or can we do this by uh, machine? No. I don't have it in the thing, Okay, so. so we'll do a voice. Uh, we'll do a voice vote. What, what clarification is this? This vote is. Does this vote also serve as a vote to deny the applicant that you put forth? It does not. All in favor of the motion to table for an indefinite period, say aye. 
Uh, All right. All in opposed to the motion to uh, table for an indefinite period say no. No, no. Okay, the motion well, carries. Aye. You said aye. I said aye. The motion carries to table for an indefinite period. With that in mind, I would like to recommend to the board that we uh, accept the contract submitted to the city by Ottawa Carter and Steve Nixon. For two hundred dollars an hour per 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 attorney, with Mr. Carter looking at litigation issues that are facing us right now, and Mr. Nixon uh, taking over easement issues, land issues, things of that nature. So I will submit that to the board for consideration and, and for a motion. How, uh, how are they? We, there's no contract in place. Yes, I have a contract here. Okay. So to, uh, to, to, to basically just says we'll do the services rendered uh, for two hundred dollars an hour for both of them. So. And I'm assuming they're billing in fifteen minute increments every time we pick up the phone. If you pick up the phone and call them for anything, they will bid you in whatever increment time six minutes, fifteen, or whatever it is that lawyers bill. Do we have a motion? I guess I'll make that motion. I don't know what other option we have. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any more discussion or conversation? I really don't see the need to rush into this type of contract. Um, I think the entire process of selecting a city attorney has been rushed, and I think we're further rushing into. Uh, Additional contract, and I would encourage the board to uh, to wait until we have time to make a further decision about uh, a full-time attorney. Every day you wait, the city falls further behind, and our legal uh, exposure increases. We have any other discussion? Uh, there, there are very few things that give me heartburn in, in, in my life, and this is one of them. This is this is this is the this is something that we have a pledged obligation to do everything that we can to protect this city, and now we're saying we don't we, we don't want to accept the, the nomination for city attorney that was put forth, and now we don't want to honor a contract. A contingency contract. What's to prevent those two counselors, other than the fact that they're great human beings, to turn around and say, "The heck with you guys!" And then tomorrow we have a we have an event that's going to warrant tremendous legal action. And one day's where the legal act, two days where the legal action would pay for our city attorney's salary for the for the remaining two weeks. I think this is this is. I think this is really, really slippery slope and dangerous ground that this board's treading on. Any other comments? We have we have a motion and a second on uh, paying two attorneys two hundred dollars per hour apiece. Okay. All in favor? The motion. If you vote yes, you're voting to pay the the, the, the two attorneys. If you vote no, then you're voting. That, uh, that, you're, that you're not going to pay the two attorneys and you'll be leaving the city totally without legal representation. So, all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 That's three. I'm aye. Like, Elvis. Now, what are we voting for? To the approve them for contract? The, the attorney for contract because y'all tabled the, the attorney for the city. All right. We have three aye. I'm correct. Vote aye. Aye. Okay. All right, so I have Alderman Garrett voting nay, Alderman Ellis voting aye, Alderman Martin voting nay, Alderman Perrette voting aye, Alderman Cossett voting aye, and Alderman Cashin voting aye. One, two, three, four. That's four, four votes aye and two votes nay. Okay, uh, so we're faced now with a deeper deficit that we're going to be run because of this action by... Uh, uh, tabling this, and uh, we will bring ideas and thoughts as we have to to the board to pay for this. 
Item E, discussion action approved the appointment of Kelly Simpkins to represent the city in a case before the Supreme Court, this would be the Matt Wiggins case, and furthermore approved the following amendment to the FY 2020 budget, and you had it listed there in various totals to come to $25,000, which is what uh, Mr. Uh, Simpkins' budget is to, uh, to take this case. Before we go into a nomination and that sort of thing, and I'm glad to see that uh, Alderman Martin recused himself from this. Uh, before we go into that, let me explain where we are with this one. When this process started about the attorneys, uh, we, the case to the Supreme, from the Supreme Court was due to the city by those who are, uh, are on the other side of the city, whatever they're called, um, by October 16th, which is tomorrow. Since then, um, there's been an extension of 10 days, which is the last extension that will be given uh, by the court. So that's October 26th. Any future extensions would have to be agreed upon by the city, and, and, and I will not agree to any more extensions for the opposition in this case. We get it October 26. October 26, we then uh, uh, began our 30-day process to respond to the Supreme Court. As I understand it, they have 15 more days after that to respond to our response. So, um, urgency here also is, it is what it is. The, the uh, decision by a former city attorney to, to leave has, has left us with this position also empty. Um, the, in reviewing emails of our former city attorney, which I had to get off the Z drive, uh, it was determined that she had spoken frequently with Mr. Simpkins, and he has a great deal of knowledge, or some knowledge in a way, about this case which would be a much more knowledge than anyone else. If the board chooses not to bring in Mr. Simpkins, whoever you bring in will have basically, well, you won't have anybody to bring in because there's no one else to be nominated. You'll have five and a half drawers and three years of testimony in the courts to review and basically less than 45 days make a decision, or, or I'm sorry, make a written statement back to the Supreme Court. Uh, so that's the situation we're in with this. Are there any questions or comments? <coughs> Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to approve and a second. If you would please vote. Action, approve a $500 